one other video today i'm going to review xiaomi.eu which is based on mui 12.5 latest china stable version so let's get it started from the setting you guys can see here and important thing is that you guys already know that xiaomi eu comes with built-in play store so you guys don't need to worry about play store we have by default play store so no issues on that just flash and enjoy the home so this is the specs you guys already know that and the main feature and main changes wallpaper and personalization you guys can see here i'm using built-in wallpaper not using super wallpaper they have provided super wallpaper and if you guys want to use super wallpaper then you guys can face lag and some of the people you guys uh, can hurt from them they say it, the eu rom is laggy but they use super wallpaper so that's why they face lag and stutter but if you use normal wallpaper and normal themes then you guys will not face any lag it will work properly and the, another changes is the navigation peel button here you guys can see uh, which was missing on china stable version but it is included in eu version so this is really cool feature and you guys can easily access your clock and you guys can change clock styles from here and icon size you guys can change and you guys can change the font icons here so and wallpapers you guys can access so many built-in wallpapers and you guys can see here the super wallpapers and i don't recommend guys to use that wallpaper so don't use the super wallpapers you guys can use those wallpapers which is really cool and working pretty much fine you guys can download any so many wallpapers and the main important thing is that they have changes they have made major changes on the notifications sounds and ringtones you guys can see here nature and savannah whatever they say australia the arctic so let me so you guys can hear the music so many customizations and the ringtones are available here nature mix sound you guys can enable and you guys can randomize uh, some all those will work if you you want to use if you want to use random and you guys can apply and you guys can combine some ringtones and you guys can apply so no issues on that this is a really cool feature and you guys can access theme from here and you guys can uh, set alarms from here and alarm tone so everything is there all ringtones and they made the major changes actually and lock screen as usual we have tap fingerprint sensor to wait and that sleep and all those charging animations you guys can see here so uh, three charging animation are available flow glow and web and pocket mode of, of course everything is working pretty much fine and display and dark mode is working pretty much fine and you guys can enable schedule dark mode no problem on that and brightness level you guys can change full screen and uh, which was missing another feature which is allow all rotations all rotations uh, was missing on china stable but we have on eu rom and now let's come to the sound and vibration so, like as before we have that features and sound effects as usual you guys can get uh, proper sound and bass when you were using on headphone and home screen we have some changes the navigation gesture we have that and home screen classic and with app drawer whatever you want you guys can use which you like actually and if you want to minus f bolt if you don't want to use f bolt then you guys can none it and i have already showed you on my uh, previous video that how can we deblot miui easily without um, rooting our device so you guys can watch that video and double tap to lock screen everything is working double tap working pretty much fine no issues on that and icon which i have already showed you on the wallpaper and personalization section and arrange in items and another feature which which was missing on china stable version you guys can use horizontal or vertical whatever you want so it will work like this and show memory status and so show suggestions and another thing was missing the floating window was not are present here on China stable room you know you guys can see here yes. and if you want to use it easily you guys can access so you guys can see here it's working pretty much fine 
you guys can use and you guys can drag it anywhere in the screen so that's all and privacy protection uh, we have a face unlock and fingerprint which is pretty much faster and working both really great and privacy protection you guys already know about that features network interceptions privacy mask privacy space privacy protection lab whatever you want you guys can access from here the lock apps password signature space whatever you want and dual apps of course everything just working pretty much fine and um, an additional setting as usual what we have any screen time which was missing on Chinese table but it's present here any special features we have video toolbox and which is working pretty much fine you can add applications and which is really uh, great when you are watching videos or when you are listening audio from uh, YouTube then you guys can use that video toolbox it's very helpful now let's come to some basic things uh, which is the file manager which is updated and which was missing on uh, China stable version you guys can see the MIUI 13 file manager is included here and you guys can change here so that's the grid view and the list view you guys can use no problem and import interesting features on settings you guys can see don't show gallery items and screenshots among recent if you turn off those and you when you open the gallery application you will see there the screenshots but if you turn this on you will not see and basic things like geekbench score and which is pretty much fine and better than the china stable rom I have already probably you guys can see here 264 and 1047 which is really good and better than the China stable version and the Geekbench I already showed you and safety net let me show you safety net is passed or not I have already rooted my device you guys already know so it uh, passed you guys can see and magic you guys can use any banking application easily no problem on that and check safety net here as well so also success here no problem and let me show you some screenshot so cpu throttling which is really great and really better than the china stable version and don't miss and don't skip the video and at the end of the video you guys will get a um, call of duty gameplay so watch till the end and you guys can see here cpu throttle to 83 percent and which was um uh 78 percent on china stable version so i can recommend you guys you guys can use that rom and if you guys want to flash that rom then i want to say just stop for one day i will uh, provide another video on miui hellas um, let me check which one is better eu and hellas so so that you guys can take a better decision if you want to use miui 12.5 and security application you guys can see the latest one and utilities so actually there is no lagging you guys can see it's working every time and if you guys uh, just watch right now the gameplay i will provide the gameplay right now i'm going to play one multiplayer match so let's see how does it perform and graphic settings you guys can see low and high and I didn't use any module this time uh, so that I can get a proper idea that's why so you guys can see
so you guys can get an idea so this is the gameplay actually it was really really great and smooth you guys can see here if you are a really a uh, call of duty player then you guys will like this really very and if you guys PUBG player then i can't say right now because if you guys are PUBG player then use the module i have already provided on my previous videos you guys can check those videos so that's the way actually it's smooth really really very smooth so i don't want to play more because in front of camera it's really hard to play like this so that's why this is the gameplay actually if you guys are a gamer then you guys can play game easily if you are not a proper gamer actually if you like to play games for a while and if you want to play then it's really good and the battery backup of that rom is really really very great uh, let me show you the battery backup and the ram management is really great in that rom you guys can see here so many tabs are open and still we have 598 megabyte so that's the room actually and the battery backup is really very great still i have 62 percent let me show you something you guys can see here four hours 35 minutes already done and in that 40 uh, four hours and 35 minutes i played call of duty you guys can see here two hour it's already two hour in four hour i already played two hour pubg uh, call of duty sorry so you guys can get an idea i still i have 62 percent so battery backup is really huge if you want a battery backup rom then this is really great and if you are not a gamer then i can easily recommend you guys to use that rom so that's the video guys for today if you guys really like that video please do subscribe and hit the bell icon